morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, I did a little bit drinking to last night, so I, uh, I'm not like completely fresh. So that's why I'm doing a new video in my own house. Every segment of this video will be in a different part of the house. You will enjoy our new house here in Thailand, guys. Now, the video is going to have amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, some live tip, a travel tip. And of course, also talking about some really important news today on this beautiful day again for Bitcoin. Let's jump into the first part, the charts. So the first chart for today, guys, is this beautiful stock to flow chart. You can see at the moment, if you zoom into this chart, that at the moment, that red line, the Bitcoin price, is going into the darkish, bluish area. And that darkish bluish area is the bottom band of that beautiful stock to flow um, model guys so if you zoom in you can see that beautiful 10k week now led into a darkish area and if you now look back to the past the left on the chart that every time when we came to the bottom of that blue dark area that was the bear market end and from that moment we went into the new bull market there is a deviation at the moment a little bit we went into the light blue we can see that but we are going into the dark blue again, which means, in my honest opinion, that we are going to follow that dark black line again, all the way up to that new level above 100k in this bull run. Beautiful chart by Stock to Flow model by Plan B. Then we have this chart, guys. On this chart, we can see what happened to gold when the first gold spot ETF was listed on the New York Stock Exchange all the way there in November 2004. At that moment, gold was at a dollar price of 400 per oz. We went from that moment to over $2,000. That's times five because it got listed on the New York Stock Exchange as a spot ETF, guys. That's what can happen to Bitcoin as well. When Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved, we can see this insane run. Now, beautiful chart is also the rainbow chart. Of course, always beautiful rainbows, but um, the darkish blue area is the area that you should be buying Bitcoin. And from that moment, we will go into that lighter blue area, the green area, the yellow area, and then that red area. Yellow and red, so from yellow, orange to red, these are the areas that you dollar cost average out. The blue areas are the areas that you dollar cost average in. So you, be, so you need to be accumulating Bitcoin at the moment, and you need to be exchanging your Bitcoins around that orange-red level. Very simple chart, and always works perfectly for many people out there. Now, then we have one more chart, that's this one. I saw this on Willy Wu Twitter. Uh, he tweeted, guys, yes, the Bitcoin inventory on exchanges. We can see the price is going up, but the amount of Bitcoins on the exchanges is creating new lows. It's going lower and lower and lower. So there is 2.9 million paper and spot Bitcoins. That's the purple line. And there is only 2.3 million spot BTC left on the exchanges. So most of the Bitcoins are slowly being withdrawn from the exchanges because we people understand that the bull market is full on and there is no reason to sell them at the moment. You will need to keep your Bitcoin safe for the next one and a half year on a beautiful hardware wallet, self custody. And then when the moment comes there that we near these beautiful levels of 70, 80K, then you move your Bitcoins again to exchanges um, to exchange them, for example, to stable coins or invest them in real estate or invest them in gold or anything else that you believe that is more stable uh, than the Bitcoin after that huge new all-time high because we know that there always will be a crash. Will it be 70% or 60% the next time? We don't know. But when we go massively up for one and a half to two years, there is always going to be a correction. Then the last chart, guys, is this one. Also in this chart, like I showed you in yesterday's chart, you can see now that the RSI on the bottom is stopping out. We broke to that resistance level. That resistance level needs to become a support level. And the RSI is topping out at the bottom. And most people will tell you now, the RSI is topping out. We will fall back uh, with the Bitcoin price very soon. Now look to the left. That blue circle on the left is indicating when the RSI was starting to top out in the previous bull market. At that moment, we were still at the levels of, I think, 9 to 14K. And from that moment, we went all the way up to 70K because the RSI was going higher and stayed above the bluish area for a very long time. 
So this moment now, the RSI stopping out on this weekly chart, to be very clear, there's a weekly chart, is not indicating that the reversal will be there now directly. It means, yes, we were very bullish and the Bitcoin price was aggressively going up, but we can continue going up for a very long time. Just look to the past, what happened. Now, if you want to analyze the chart a little bit more, then pause the video. I hope you really enjoyed this chart, guys. Yes, I'm very far away. I'm zoomed out, just like you need to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at the bigger picture. Do buy Bitcoins around these levels because we are going to go into this bull run and we are now going to go higher. So if Bitcoin drops to 34, 33, 32K, maybe even 30K, dollar cost average into Bitcoin. It's very important that you always zoom out in Bitcoin, but that you zoom in at life and that's why i'm zooming in now guys you need to zoom in at life and enjoy every single minute of the day that is the most important thing that you need to do in life when it comes to capital zoom out take a big leap when it comes to life zoom in take that big leap every day again and again and again you just need to try to make every day an amazing day of beautiful zoomed in minutes Enjoy every minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and if you do that 24 hours, you're a very happy person. And also a little bit sleepy because you need to sleep, of course, eight hours a day. And that were the charts for today, guys. Hope you really enjoyed them. Let's jump into the trading tip. Welcome to the chill area, guys. This is, of course, where we play games all day long. Yes, the PS5, FIFA, and the kids play all like Fortnite and all those games. But when it comes to trading, it is not a game, guys. Trading is playing with real life assets. It's your capital. And it's very important that you do wisely stuff with your capital. So for example, trading the Bitcoin chart is one way to invest in Bitcoin. Investing in Bitcoin and hodling is a second way to invest in cryptocurrencies. But what you can also do is, for example, invest in IDOs, ICOs, and all these exchange offerings of new projects that are uh, now coming to the market. So there is a lot of pre-sales that you can get by investing very early into these new projects. Just see it a little bit like crowdfunding in the old days and now we have ICOs, IDOs and many other options for projects to raise capital. And they need to raise capital to be able to build their project. And you as an investor can get early investments, so you can get investments with discounts for example, because you invest very early in the stage of that project because they need that capital. And when the project goes live, you will receive their tokens and you will receive a little bit extra bonus tokens because you were an early investor and that gives you a lot of profit as well. So that's a different way of investing, but a very valid one in this cryptocurrency industry. Always keep your eyes open for these new beautiful projects because the next one can be the Dogecoin that I had in 2014 and that exploded massively to 60 cents seven years later. That's a combination of investing in an early project and holding a very long time. That was a trading tip for today. There are multiple ways to invest in this industry. Yes, this is a very strange place. This is the hallway of the house, guys. Full with these beautiful art pieces of Gene Mansfield, a sex bomb, I think from the 60s, together with Marilyn Monroe and all these girls. Um, guys, the travel tip for today is, when you travel in Thailand or any other country in the world, and you travel with a bus or a train, always make sure that your most precious stuff, like your ledgers, your iPhones, your laptops, and all that stuff, is in your day pack. Keep that with you, close to your body. Because when you put all that expensive stuff in the luggage, which goes down below in the buses, you can lose some stuff. When we made the first backpack trip in 2001, we made that mistake. We left everything in our luggage, in our backpacks, we trusted because there was a lock on it. And we put it down below in the bus when we drove from, I think, Chiang Mai all the way back to Bangkok. It was like a 16 hour trip or something like that. And then when we arrived in Bangkok and we opened the luggage again in the hotel room, yeah, we were missing a lot of stuff because the guys down below and in the hatch, they went in and they opened the bags and they just took out stuff. We even found different lingerie in our backpack. So they just mixed up all the stuff when they were closing it down again. So always keep your luxury stuff, your expensive stuff, your passports, your iPhones and all that stuff. Keep it in your day pack close to your body. That was the travel tip for today. 
the news for today guys i will do here in my gym my beautiful gym with a beautiful view uh, the news is one the gym is finally ready so i can just start pumping two the big news is my instagram is back so if i start to pump i can show the results again on instagram i don't have any other crypto news it seems that all the news articles are only about blackrock and the spot etf so i've been telling you about that already a few times i'm not gonna search for news today because you know i had some drinks last night that's why i'm sweating now as well <laughs> i need to start training guys but the big news i have my instagram back and i'm thankful to all the people that reached out to me in direct messages to help me get my instagram back there was one person that was able to do it so the scammer did not succeed in getting my instagram deleted but he did succeed to get it banned for two days and of course i lost my verification badge uh, which is really bad because i need to uh, reapply now for that verification badge and i want to have that verification because that is protecting you against again all those scammers that are sending you direct messages from all those fake didi taihutu instagram accounts so uh, sorry for that but the instagram verification will be back very soon after i finish my training session and of course yes Yes, my training session is over here and then I'm gonna push the Bitcoin price a little bit more up I guess oh we push the Bitcoin price all the way up to the moon while you enjoy the beautiful view of these mountains guys so that was no special news but very important news I have my Instagram back and yes finally I'm winning a battle against the scammers Now the section where I talk about the questions of one of the followers. There were three amazing questions. I'm going to answer one of those questions today and one question I'm going to make a complete video about because that question was about how do I dollar cost average out of Bitcoin at the bull market top? So how much do I sell at 70K, 60K? I'm going to make a video completely separate about that, guys. There was a cool question from Ruud. Ruud asked me in Dutch down below yesterday's video. Was there ever a moment that we thought in the last seven years, oh shit, what did we start? Um, no, there was never that moment because it was a roller coaster ride for us. Like, we didn't have even time for a couple of years to think about what we did. You know, when we started this whole adventure, we went all in. We went living on a campsite. We were all like directly bombed by media outlets from all over the world coming and flying into our campsite. Every day was new recordings with newspapers, with documentary makers, with like, it became so busy that we decided to leave that campsite into Thailand. And then when we finally found our rest in Thailand for like five days or six days or maybe even one or two weeks, this company calls us called Arte, a documentary maker from Germany. So like a post that we were in Thailand from another person that made a selfie with me. And from that moment we said, okay, let's, let's just not say no anymore to all that stuff. Let's say just yes and embrace this adventure. So we said yes to Arte. They flew over. They filmed us for five or six days in Koh Phangan, Thailand. From that moment, the documentary was created and then the Bitcoin family was really born because from that moment it exploded even more internationally. We went into all news outlets and papers everywhere. We were called the Bitcoin family. And from that moment, it became this ongoing roller coaster ride where we didn't even get to think about, hey, was this okay what we did, you know? And then Bitcoin started to pump from like when we went in, $900, then a 3K, my pension fund, we pumped to 20K. So it's all euphoria, adrenaline, so you never think about that. Then the first crash comes all the way into that 3K bottom at that moment. At that moment, we flew back to the Netherlands to sell the last part of our garage. We did a huge garage sale. I think we sold for 2.2 Bitcoins or something. It's still somewhere online on our website. Uh, and then everybody was laughing. Didi is bankrupt. He's doing a garage sale. And from that moment, Bitcoin started to rise up again to that beautiful 70K. So it was all these beautiful euphoric moments for us and special moments that didn't make us think like, what did we start it? But that did make us think like, Oh my God, how can a life change so big by just starting to follow your heart? We didn't feel happy anymore or happiness anymore in the Netherlands with all that materialistic stuff, with the houses, with the few cars, with the motorbikes, with all those people that you want to impress because you are rich. We didn't feel that happiness anymore. So that step that we took brought us to a new insight that happiness is brought to your life by complete different stuff. So we never looked back like, ah, should, have we should we have done that? We have spent seven beautiful years together as a family all over the world, 42 countries. I can't look back and regret that decision. It was too beautiful. Was there ever doubt to Bitcoin? Zero. Was there ever doubt to the traveling life? Yes, of course, because we are a family with three grow because we are a family with three kids that started when we were 11, the oldest, and she's now 18. We went through the whole puberty phase traveling all over the world with three puber kids and now a little dog which is also a huge puber 
And then of course you get doubts. Oh my God, it's so much work, it's so much stress, it's so much moving. And then you go slow travel. So we adapt to the situation. But we never had any regrets of the decisions we made. And I think that all the people that are making these decisions now will never have these regrets as well. There's one person that today, and it's a honest story, I'm not going to name him by name, but this morning I received a WhatsApp. It was a very long message, and the first sentence was, Didi, please read the complete WhatsApp. And I started to read the WhatsApp, and this is a guy that I met somewhere in the Netherlands on one of the meetups that got inspired by what we did, that told me, Didi, is your trust really that big in Bitcoin? I told him, yes, put in everything now. We are at the bear market bottom, between 20 and 16K, buy as much as you can. This guy did buy as much as he can. He's now traveling through Asia and today he texted me, Didi, thank you so much for being that inspiration to me to give me that last push into changing my life. He had a complete different life before than he has now and he is 10 times more happy. At least that is what he's texting me at the moment. And I texted him back, yes, of course, I helped you. I pushed you a little bit, but, but it was himself that did it. He had the courage to take that big leap that we took as well. He had the courage to change his life. Because he chose courage above fear, his life is now changed in the way he wants to live. And I think that is very important for all of you out there. You need to always prefer courage above fear. If you live in fear, you, your life will not be the life that you want to be living. Choose courage. Take that leap. You can always go back to the old situation. Don't live in fear, but try new things. And maybe then it will lead to that happiness that you're searching for so deeply. So that was uh, the answer on that question. Which leads to the end of the video, the inspirational tip uh, for today, guys, from my beautiful garage with my Lambos. No, we don't drive cars here in Phuket. We drive motorbikes in Phuket. It's all like 160 and 150 cc motorbikes that we drive because it's too busy with traffic over here. We use these bikes, beautiful. You don't need to wear a helmet. Yeah, if the police state gets you, yeah, you need to pay a little fine. I think like 500 baht or 1,000 baht, but yeah, we drive bikes. And I don't know if you can see it, but on the back over there is the fifth bedroom, which is in the garden, which is for guests. Like, for example, if you might visit us, you can sleep in that room over there, guys. Now, the answer to the question of the followers made me think of this beautiful life quote. When you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to things or to people. It's very important that you realize that. If you want to find real happiness, tie it to goals, personal goals, capital goals, family goals. Tie it to a goal, not to expensive stuff. You don't see Lamborghinis over here, not to other people. You don't have any responsibility to the other people. If you want to become happy, you need to make yourself happy. And the easiest way to find happiness in life is to tie that happiness to a goal and not to materialistic stuff or other people. I believe that's a very beautiful quote that I really believe in. And it doesn't mean that you can't make anyone else happy. If your goal is to make your complete family happy, that's a beautiful goal. And that goal will lead to happiness. But if you think you can make your family happy with buying a Lamborghini, a bigger house, a third car, a motorbike, and all that stuff, it will lead to short-term happiness for your family. Your kids will be happy for two days with a new iPhone, five days with a PlayStation 5, 10 days with some other materialistic jewelry. But if you change your life and you spend more time with your families and you tie it to a goal of becoming a digital nomad family, for example, that will lead to way more happiness than all that materialistic stuff combined. So the life lesson for today is, if you want to find real happiness, then tie it to goals instead of people or materialistic stuff. And that was the end of the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What did you think about this video? Let me know down below in the comment. What do you think about the video, about the charts? What do you think about the house? What do you think about all the things that I talked about? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. And see you tomorrow again, probably from the beach. But today, I was a little bit tired. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bam.